after Briar campsite. I'm currently just waiting for the luggage to arrive so I can set up my tent. <laughs> I've just got the tent up and naturally the sun has just come out so it's immediately like boiling hot inside. Anyway, probably time to get some lunch and then head out and do something. behind the campsite. This island just across the water is Tresco. You can see Cromwell's castle and King Charles's castle on top of the hill. You can see the lighthouse behind the island as well. That lighthouse is by St. Martin's, I think. As luck would have it, I just sprayed myself with a load of insect repellent and I'm not sure it's working so far. Probably going to go to Tresco tomorrow and wander around that island all day. So see a lot of that stuff in more detail then. Today, like by the time I've got here, set up my tent, had lunch, put on sun cream and insect repellent and everything. It's already like somewhat late in the afternoon I guess. Just be walking around Briar is quite colourful. I think last year it was all a bit dry. a bit windy. I don't know what it will be 
like for watching the sunset today. Guess we'll find out later. many nice places on these islands where you could just stop and look at the sea It's like a maid. I think I've solved it if it is. <laughs> Although it doesn't look like there's many paths you could actually take. Yeah, 
busy now. Wooden board must have said something at some point. I'll be happy just to not cut my legs. Last year I cut my legs within like two hours of getting here or something. Although that would have been on course. A lot sharper than bits of bracken.
it on the camera but in the distance there there's a lighthouse Bishop's Rock Lighthouse I think I'm not sure if you'll see it on the camera but you can see the light flashing Lighthouse is like the most southwesterly point in the UK. I don't know where this path goes. Looks like I'd be going towards the other side of the island. Which is not what I was planning to do just yet. I was hoping it'll branch off to the right and go up the hill. So I ended up going back. I think this is the way that I thought I was going. Heading down the hill to the east side of the island. This side of the island is like more inhabited. and fudge. Sage growing there and rosemary. the church and graveyard. There's a key just here. 
which is used at high tide. When I came in, the tide was a bit lower, so we stopped at the other quay, which is up towards the campsite. like the uh, evening boat to Tresco. You can take a boat across in the evening to eat out on the other island and then get the boat back a few hours later. Probably be doing that in a couple of days time. I'm not really one for eating out, but thought it might be nice. Island fish. You can get freshly caught stuff. the other key just there on the beach. And it's just a short walk up this path back to the campsite. Bar there just at the end of the road, and then this leads up to the campsite. I usually put up the boat times for the following day on the notice board, so I'll check that in a moment so I can find out what times to get the boat tomorrow. Boats tomorrow. Leave at nine, return at five. <laughs> Easy enough to remember, I guess, on working day. Although my working days are technically eight till four. Not gonna lie, these lentils are like my favourite food. And tomatoes as well.
basically the end of the day now, so I'm just wandering about a bit. I'll wait to see if I can see the sunset. But I think that's still like a few hours away. going to calm down at all. I want to catch the sunset but I don't know. It's so windy that it's like cold. <laughs> I'm going to put my coat on and see like, if I'm warm enough then. It's not looking particularly hopeful now. A lot of clouds coming in. It's still cold and windy. <laughs> it feels weird because I'm wearing like multiple layers and it's July. when I watched the sunset I didn't need to put on any extra clothes from the daytime I didn't even need to put on like longer trousers so I've really been hoping that there would be enough of a break in the clouds, but <laughs> I think I'm losing hope a bit at this point. Briefly saw the sun like 10 minutes ago. But now it just looks like there's too, too much cloud. It's maybe like the closest that it's gonna get. <laughs> I may have to just go, like, I'm starting to get very tired. And I'm just pacing up and down <laughs> on top of the hill for like the last hour or something. And I don't think that I'm going to see the sunset. So I may be better off just going to bed right now. I think the sun might have actually set by now, albeit behind the clouds. <laughs> so, yeah, that, that's not happening today, but maybe in the next couple of days, maybe it'll clear up a bit, be a bit less windy. So for now, I'm going to make my way back to my tent and go probably straight to sleep. So I suppose this will be like end of part one of the Owls of Silly. So just quickly say Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed it, like the video, subscribe to the channel to see part two, where I will be on that island over there, which is Tresco.
next time.